my channel and we are at the beach but also as you guys seen in the description box below I am done with my reading corner in my room what are you doing Savannah I am done with the reading corner in my room what better place to do an intro than at the beach as you will see and I might as well tell you now my reading corner is beach themed and the sun is really bright out here I don't go to the beach as much as I like to even though I love the beach you guys we live more inland so if I want to go to the beach I have to come to San Francisco which I'm here today or I have to go to LA all right you guys so without further ado because I know you've been waiting a long time for this because I've been talking about it a long time here is my room transformation not my room but my corner transformation become an eyesore I threw whatever and anything when I came home from work into this corner and when it gets further down you'll see my shoes that I took off when I came home from work and bags on the hinge there so yeah it was getting pretty bad a while back although I love it I don't like the color it matches nothing in my room so yes <laughs> y'all know y'all should already know I am going to paint it and you see me using a tiny little paintbrush here because I'm not a professional and I get kind of sloppy sometimes when it comes to the corner of things when I paint and right there you see me put a paper there to use as painters tape so I'm just going to paint this record player. So you guys are probably wondering, what in the world are you doing, Michelle? Well, there's always a method to my madness. Trust the process, just trust. my first coat so so far I'm loving it I'm going to just let this dry before I paint my next coat so there's a certain look that I'm going for I seen off of Pinterest and I wanted corner shelves so I found these at Hobby Lobby and of course you know if they're not white or whatever color I need your girl's gonna paint them whatever color she needs so yeah I painted these white to go in the corner okay so you guys are probably wondering what in the world am I doing? The corner is not that big. What, what are you doing, Michelle? What are you doing? Trust the process. I'm telling you, there's always a method to my madness, but here I did get two crates from Walmart and I am painting them white. And you will see in the end how I arrange these. So here I am just starting to remove everything and clean it up I'm taking down the picture that I bought from Ikea I love this picture so I'm not going to 
throw it away or anything like that. And here I am just putting the corner shelves in. Now normally I don't like to drill holes in my walls or anything like that unless I knew it was going to be permanent. And this I knew, I pretty much knew was going to be permanent. So that's the reason why I used the drill here. Right here, I was not thinking, why didn't I remove the mini fridge out of the way? This would have been a whole lot easier if I had done that. you're going to see me in a few different outfits <laughs> in this video um, I've done this over the course of I don't know two three months however long I've been talking about it but here I am just preparing the mini fridge getting it all cleaned out because I don't use it anymore and I actually sold it so here I am cleaning it out before I move it out of my room on Macari. Even though I think they are super cute, they are way too small for the area. So y'all know me, I'm going to work some magic and put them in a bigger frame. So I just picked up four frames from the Dollar Tree and some picture paper that I got from Hobby Lobby that looks beachy. And on these frames, I'm going to take the glass off. I'm not going to use the glass. And then you will see how I put this into a bigger frame. anything about me. You should already know what's coming. I'm telling you, a paintbrush fixes everything. If you find something and it's not the right color and you like it, you can't find it in the color that you like, paint it. this was just the first coat. So my kitchen counter is where I do all of my projects. It's where I have the most space. So just ignore my cords and humidifier. And there I'm just showing you the wires that I took off of the pictures. And um, you see the beads over there. So I'm going to cover up the holes and just redo this to make it look better. that came with the frame as a 
guide so I can make sure I cut the right size of that little beach paper that you see there. And how this is turning out so far you guys and here I'm just showing you the nautical rope that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put it around the frame smart because I have to use these buttons every day for the lights and my ceiling fan and as you can see that remote comes off but yeah um, if you can think of something I can do or put over this that will cover it let me know jumped the gun a little bit when I got these shelves. I should have looked on Amazon. You find everything on Amazon, but these shelves here are actually too small for the decorations I have, so I'm going to swap them out. So here's a table tray I got from Walmart. I know what you're thinking, but trust the process. <laughs> anyway, so when I seen this idea, oh, right there I'm showing you the glue that I used to glue this together so it won't open so anyway the picture that I seen for this inspiration was on Pinterest and I absolutely loved it and I changed the whole way I was going to do my corner because I wanted this table tray in there so if I remember I will try to insert a picture shelves that I got to put on my wall and I'm not going to show me putting them up you guys already seen that process I'm just kind of upset with myself because I drove holes in the walls but thankfully where these are now it's covered up those holes so you can never tell that there was two shelves there or two different sizes so the record player stand that I got I painted it white but I lost the footage so just imagine this in white Okay, so one more look at the before, cute picture on the wall, but boring corner, a refrigerator that I didn't use anymore. Who hangs bags on the hinge of the door? I do, don't judge me. Anyway, 
Are you guys ready for this? So y'all, I know the light is casting a shadow on the wall. I filmed this at night, but I didn't feel like bringing my soft boxes out. Anyway, you guys, look at this. Look at this. I absolutely love this. Look how it came together. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love sitting here. It feels so nice. Look at this record player, y'all. It looks old and weathered, and that's the look I was going for. I actually may go back over it with white because I don't like that you see like the brush strokes of the black paint, but overall, I love this. Here's that record player stand. I just decided to leave it plain white. And y'all, didn't I tell you trust the process? I'm using the crates as a bookshelf. Y'all, I love this. I love these little Arundondack chairs. I think that's how you say it. I got the pack of four from Amazon. And then I think this is called a snake plant, but it goes with the look. And y'all, look at this table tray. I made it look nautical with the, the nautical rope on there. And I just glued the finials down and I put the rope on there and I painted the rope white. I'm trying to focus so you guys can see it. But I did paint the rope white a little bit. I dry brushed it. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And remember that mess is in the bottle that I made? I bet some of y'all figured out what the theme of my corner was going to be. And here is the lamp that I got. It looks nautical, has the nautical rope on there. It looks really well in this corner. And my pictures. Remember how small it was with that wire hook? And oh my word, you guys, to me, this is the best part of this corner. I absolutely love this chair. When I first seen it, I knew I had to have it. I pretty much knew I was going to get it. This chair was not cheap, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying, but when I, I fell in love with it, I just had to have it, y'all. I love this chair. it how do you like my transformation of my coastal corner i think it's cute i love it it's nice and cozy and it's amazing what was your favorite part of my transformation thank you guys so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video